Hey everybody, so we're going to be doing example 4 and the monitoring progress um, problem for day 19 of the geometry notes. Uh, so it says the following. A town plans to build a new swimming pool. An Olympic pool is rectangular with a length of 50 meters and a width of 25 meters. The new pool will be similar but will have a length of 40 meters. Find the perimeters of an Olympic pool and the new pool. So we're basically saying that this is an Olympic pool, but the one that we want is smaller. And we know it's going to be smaller because they said that we needed to have a new length of 40 meters. And actually, I'll do that in our color 40 meters. Now, here we could probably figure out this missing length and then just add them all up and then add all these up. But we're going to try and use the one of the theorems that we actually learned uh, or that you should have learned in day 19 in the yeah, in the notes for day 19. So the theorem we're going to be use is this one right here. It's the perimeter of similar polygons. And so this is basically saying that if I have two similar figures, that's what that little sign right there means. If I have two figures that are similar, then if I take the perimeter of this one and divide it by the perimeter of this one, that should actually be equal to the scale factor. So what does that look like in our problem? Well, we know that the perimeter for the Olympic pool, perimeter for the Olympic pool is going to be 50 plus 50 that's 100 25 plus 25 that's one uh, that's 50 so we're gonna have hundred and fifty meters be the perimeter of this big pool but how can we find the perimeter of the little pool well like I said first we're gonna need the scale factor so let's see if we can find it scale factor just like in the warm-up problem because we want to go from big to little, our scale factor has to be less than 1. So our scale factor, if I put a ratio of corresponding sides, this side corresponds to this side. So we're going to get that. The scale factor should be 40 divided by 50, which actually simplifies to 4 over 5. And so this is my scale factor k and so my theorem again I'll bring it out says that if I take the perimeter of the bigger figure uh, yeah of the big figure let me see if I take yeah if I take the perimeter of each of these let's see what we got so the perimeter so perimeter of the shape that I don't know it's a perimeter of small pool over the perimeter of the big pool should be equal to K which is 4 over 5 again we know that we don't know the perimeter of the small one, so we'll call it x. But we do know the big one, and that is 150. And so we know that that has to be equal to 4 over 5. Now, if I cross multiply again, like this, we are going to get to that. 5 times x is equal to 5x. And that should be equal to 150 times 4, which is actually 600. If we divide that by 5, we're going to get that x is actually equal to 120. So the perimeter of the small pool has to be 120 meters. Right, so we're going to use the exact same theorem now for this bottom part over here 
right? So it says the two gazebo, and this is a gazebo. I think in, in Spanish they call it a kiosco. Um, but the two gazebo uh, shown are similar pentagons, right? So they are pentagons, and they are telling us that they are similar. And so they want us to find, again, the perimeter of gazebo A. And so that would be this one right here. Right, and we don't know, we don't know the, the, we only know one side length, and we don't know its perimeter, but we do know the perimeter of this one, right? If we add up all of these sides, let's see what that gives us. 15 plus 15, that's 30. 18 plus 12, that's another 30. And that's a 9. So the perimeter of the big gazebo is going to be 69 meters. And we don't know the perimeter for this one. So we're going to call it another variable because we're already using x here. I don't want to use x. So I'm just going to use perimeter for this one is going to be y. And so now what we have to do is again find the scale factor for this. And then set it equal to the ratio of our perimeters. So let's see. So we have that, again, we're going to be using this one right here, this theorem. And so let's find the scale factor for this one first. We only know one side of this one, but that's enough. So if, well, if I want to find the scale factor from this figure to this figure, I have to do K. Oops. I have to do K is equal to. If I'm going from little to big, I have to make sure my scale factor is bigger than 1. So my scale factor is going to be 15 over 10, which is a fraction that reduces to 3 over 2. Now that's my scale factor. Now what I got to do is find the ratio of my perimeters. So I'm going to do perimeter of F, G, H, J, K. And we're going to divide that by the perimeter of A, B, C, D, E. And we're going to set that equal to 3 halves. And so in other words... This should be perimeter of FGHJK is 69. We don't know what the perimeter of this is, so we're going to call it Y. And this should be equal to the scale factor, which is 3 over 2. And so once again, we're going to handle this doing cross multiplication. We're going to multiply like this, like in an x. And so we have that 3 times y is just going to be 3 times y. So this is 3y is equal to 69 times 2 is actually 138. And if I divide by 3 on each side here, I'm going to get that y is actually equal to 46 so we can say that the perimeter of the small gazebo is 46 uh, meters and we found that without needing to even figure out x so that's why that's why this theorem is actually pretty useful we don't need to know all of the side lengths um, for our figure, as long as we have one corresponding side length and we're able to find the scale factor, uh, we're going to be able to solve these types of problems.